Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India number 38 we have been discussing about uh, the three body problem and in that context then we move to the restricted three body problem so we'll continue with that so today we are going to discuss about the lagrange points so already we have observed that uh, the restricted three body equations is uh, governed by x double dot minus 2 omega y dot minus omega square x R1 cube x minus x b1 and similarly along the y direction in the synodic frame we have 2 omega x dot minus omega square y. These three equations we got for the restricted three body problem. Restricted and as we have stated, this cannot be solved. Solved explicitly and therefore we derived a general relation and that relation in the short form we have written as v square equal to 2f minus c or the same thing we have also written phi minus c or either we have written in terms of u minus c 2u minus c where u we defined as 1 by 2 x square plus y square and uh, if you remember omega square terms also appears but omega square if you assume omega equal to 1 so this term does not get involved in the u term otherwise this omega square term this remains and therefore from here we have phi equal to x square plus y square 2 mu 1 by r 1 plus 2 mu 2 by r 2. So, this we have already worked. Now, the question arises the last time as we have been discussing that uh, Lagrange points they exist and out of that we have worked for uh, on the normalized scale already we have looked into that uh, uh, equation uh, the um, what I mean here that uh, if we have mass m 1 and this is mass m 2 then we have looked at r 1 will be equal to r 2. So, this is your r 1 and this is r 2. So, magnitude wise mass m is here. So, either it is a possible here in this place or either here in this place. So, m can be here or either m can be here and in this direction we have taken the s direction of the synodic frame. This is b barycenter and uh, this direction indicates the 
y direction of the synodic frame. So, this till this extent we have done it. Okay, and thereafter also we have observed that uh, if we write this as the R12, the distance between M1 and M2, let us say this is A and this is C. So, AC equal to R12. So, also we have observed that this will be equal to R2 equal to 1 on the normalized scale. So, we are going to uh, look into this matter again. So, the equation we have written there, uh, the first equation, equation 1 can be rewritten as x double dot minus 2 omega y dot mu 1 by r 1 plus mu 2 by r 2. Similarly, y double dot can be written as this can be written as 2 times omega x dot equal to omega square y plus dou y dou y mu 1 by r 1 plus mu 2 by r 2. and z double dot this will can be written as in the same way dou by we are looking at this equation. So, dou by dou z mu 1 by r 1 plus mu 2 by r 2 and this is our equation number 4. Now, if we look into the in equation 6 on the right hand side, if you look that quantity is nothing but dou u by dou x. So, here you already we have defined so if I differentiate it, so 1 by 2 times if I take the differential of uh, in equation 6 and uh, on the right hand side we can observe using equation 4 that dou u by dou x equal to 1 by 2 times 2 x partial differential with respect to x we are taking and thereafter the rest of the quantity they will appear as r cube x. This already we have done. So, you can look back uh, refer to the earlier lectures and of course, here omega square term was there. So, this is omega square x minus mu 1 by r 1 cube x minus mu 2 by r 2 cube x and this is dou u by dou x. So, the equation 1 was rewritten as like this, equation 2 is rewritten like this and equation 3 is rewritten like this. So, in the equation 2 on the right hand side, if we observe Okay, uh, we have plus sign here in this place. So, that we need to take care of here if you see uh, actually what has happened uh, 1 2 this is fine. So, uh, this is also ok uh, r 1 q actually equation 1 if we are writing it like this. 
so here already we have taken into account if you see if I the first term this term is differentiated. So, this will appear as mu 1 by r 1 q with minus sign and times x and this quantity is nothing but what we get here in this place and x minus here one more term we have to add. So, we will add that particular term also this will be r 2 once we differentiate. So, this is x time x plus x b 2 and here this we have x minus x b 1 and with minus sign here. So, this way here also we do the correction. So, this is x minus x b 1 minus x minus x b 2. Now, if you look here on this term, this particular term and look here in this place is it the same thing minus mu 1 by r 1 cube x minus x b 1 mu 1 by r 1 cube x minus x b 1 similarly the other terms okay. and here x plus x b 2. So, uh, and this term obviously, we have brought it from the left hand side. So, what it implies that our the equation 6 is nothing but x double dot equal to x double dot minus 2 omega y dot this is nothing but dou u by dou x this is equation 6. So, let us write this as 6 a ok a along the same line you can write 2 omega x dot equal to this you can check yourself dou u by dou y this is 6 b uh, 7 7 we write this as 7 a because this is written as 7. So, this is 7 a and z double dot this will be simply dou u by dou z. going back here if you differentiate this. So, dou u by dou z this quantity there is no z appearing in this term ok. Therefore, this term will be 0 only thing you get here. So, this will be equal to dou u by dou z equal to mu 1 by r 1 plus mu 2 by r 2. So, this is what we get and we have written here in this place. So, the above equations, so this we write as 8a. So, what we see that the equation 6, 7, 8 can be reduced here in this format. Okay. Now, equation 6a, 7a and 8a. if dou u by dou x equal to dou u by dou y equal to dou u by dou z equal to 0. So, this refers to your dou double point in analytical geometry. And when this is going to be true once all these quantities on the right hand side are 0. So, this is satisfied by. So, this will be satisfied if x double dot equal to 0 equal to y double dot equal to z double dot means they are all 0. 
similarly x dot equal to y dot equal to z dot equal to 0. So, this defines your equilibrium point. So, this is satisfied this double points are nothing but equilibrium point double points are the self intersection of self intersection of a curve or surface and in this case in this case this is the equilibrium point equilibrium points of the three body restricted three body system three body system in synodic frame this is very important this is synodic frame, not in inertial frame. This part is important to note. Okay, so if, uh, So, we got the Jacobi integral derived already uh, as you know and that was derived in the synodic frame. You can also do the same thing in the uh, inertial frame. So, I am not giving that derivation here, but you can look into the book by on astrodynamics. It is a given in the list of books. By Archie Roy. So, that part I am skipping here. Now, V square equal to phi minus c, if I set it to 0, so phi equal to c or phi which is a function of x, y, z equal to c this gives us equation of a surface surface on which velocity is 0 in the synodic frame again this is in synodic frame because this v you have defined as x dot a square y dot a square plus z dot a square okay. and x dot x y and z in our context it has been described in the synodic frame okay. and therefore, the velocity is 0 in the synodic frame and on this we will discuss further, uh, but toward the end of this topic. So, now we look into the Langrange point solution. From equation 1 or let us say equation 3, if we put z double dot equal to 0, so in that case what do we get? On the right hand side we have, we have this equation here. z double dot equal to 0. So, for acceleration is 0. So, this part at the equilibrium point if we are putting it 0. So, the solution to this will be z equal to 0 and this already we have discussed also. So, uh, this implies z equal to 0 and we have written earlier this implies 
that equilibrium slash Lagrange points slash librational points. These are also called librational points. Lie in the orbital plane of the primary and the secondary bodies. Why this is so? Z equal to 0 because in this our case Z was up and here we have taken x and this we have taken as y s and this was the point B m 1 is located here and m 2 is located here. and this is rotating. So, we assume that we choose the synodic frame such that x s and y s lies in the plane of orbital plane of the masses m 1 and m 2. And because of that we are getting this result that z equal to 0. So, that means all the Langrange points will lie in the plane x s y s plane that is in the x s y s plane. Okay. Thereafter, we normalize the scale. So, on the normalized scale, what we observe that uh, mu 1 can be written as so, what does mean by normalization that uh, we have m 1 plus m 2 we write this as 1 total mass we assume it to be unit. Therefore, m 1 by m 1 plus m 2 this will write as 1 minus mu star. Okay, let us multiply this also by g times m 1 plus m 2 and if g equal to 1, if g equal to 1 then we can see that this remains 1 and this quantity is nothing but mu. So, this is mu equal to 1, this quantity is mu. g times m 1 we write it as mu 1, g times m 2 we have written as this as the mu 2. So, mu 2 star or mu star will define as <coughs> mu star will be uh, see mu star is the mass of m 2. Okay. So, this is m 2 divided by m 1 plus m 2 times g, this is in the normalized form. So, mu star is m 2 times g is mu 2 and below this quantity is mu. Similarly, 1 minus mu star this will be equal to so this is the normalized form because they are having the same dimension. Okay and we are dividing it and normalizing it. So, reducing it to the scale 1 and for this we have already discussed also.
and we know that omega equal to mu by a cube under root and mu is nothing but g times m1 plus m2 divided by a cube. So, here in this case the angular velocity of each mass is m1, m2 and this is the very center. So, angular velocity this will be moving about b like this and this will also be moving about b like this, but simultaneously and what will be the period? Period will be the same as the motion of m 2 about m 1 or either m 1 about m 2, whatever the period the same period will be there. Okay. So, according to this scheme then your if we write this as 1 and this is the 2. So, A refers to r 1 2 the distance between 1 and 2 and on the normalized scale we take this as 1. Okay, g already we are taking this as 1. So, this and m 1 plus m 2 as 1. So, this gets reduced to omega equal to. So, omega also on the normalized scale is 1 and uh, benefit of using this is the ease of representing the system and less time taking and better understanding and it can be used uh, once you have got the result. So, if, uh, you can solve uh, you can get back to the actual scale without any problem. Okay, so, from the first equation we got here z equal to 0. Okay. So, this is one of the conclusions. So, the Langrange points what we are deducting that they are lying in the x y plane. Now, next we take equation 2. So, equation 2 is related to the y axis and there what we see that uh, x double dot is y double dot we have taken to be 0 and y dot equal to 0 at equilibrium and therefore, your equation that gets reduced to minus y omega square y with minus sign. Okay. So, here already or maybe we can write like this minus omega square y equal to minus y. Okay. On, on the right hand side what we have? So, we have to write the whole equation. So, this we have written as minus mu 1 by y r 1 cube minus mu 2 by y uh, mu 2 y divided by r 2 cube. And solving this, we get mu 1 by r 1 cube plus mu 2 by r 2 cube this equal to 1. Y equal to not, not equal to 0. So, under that condition this is valid. So, that means if I have two masses m 1 and m 2. So, using this you will get the solution where the y is lying of the axis. So, this also we have already done. Okay. So, for this I have taken a revision because in the next I am going to do on the actual scale some of the things and that will be pretty complicated. So, we can recall in this lecture. Then we can, uh, okay. Once we have got this, then we can take the third equation, so first equation. So from equation one, x double dot equal to zero and x dot equal to zero. So from there we get minus omega square x equal to minus. Rest of the terms I will arrange here and write in this place rather than uh, again and again writing and rewriting. Okay. 
and if we utilize this here in this place and we know that omega this equal to 1. So, what do we get these two terms will cancel out then this and this will cancel out because this quantity equal to 1 and omega omega is also equal to 1. So, minus x minus x from both side will cancel out. So, this yields mu 1 by r 1 q x b 1 equal to mu 2 by r 2 q x b 2. Now, what the result we have got here in this place? Let us name it ET This result we write as 9 and this result as 10. Now, insert 10 into 9. equation 10 into 9. So, what do we get here mu 1 by r 1 q mu 1 by r 1 q plus mu 2 by r 2 q. So, mu 2 by r 2 q from this place you can see this quantity this will be mu 1 r 1 q x b 1 divided by x b 2. And this is mu 1 r 1 q x b 1 divided by x b 2 and on the right hand side we get this as 1. So, mu 1 by r 1 q x b 2 plus x b 1 divided by and x b 1 plus x b 2 is nothing but your r 1 2 this is very center. So, this distance you have taken as x b 1 this distance you have taken as x b 2 and this whole distance we are writing as r 1 2. So, on the normalized scale this quantity already we are writing as r 1 2. Okay and based on this we have got omega equal to 1. So, omega is nothing but mu by a q what we have written earlier equal to mu by r 1 2 q under root and as we choose this one and this quantity is 1 by our assumption. So, in that case we have got omega equal to 1. So, from here we get r 1 2 Okay, so, uh, we stop here and we will continue in the next lecture.